My name is Lawrence Morgan, the speaker at the Navajo Nation Council. Yad el Rasi lo a ko dan hi nathiki speaker bespas an yad hi Lawrence Morgan Swedish na tena jinin shlido hal soi e bashish chin ki ya ane da shinale to baj na ajyo li hi ki isha chi da te. But I didn't actually go back to my son. I actually took a few skando, aro, and did a yana betuoto. I'm here to provide you some information on the stars. The stars set the direction for the Dene in terms of adherence to time, time to rise, time for daily activities, and at nightfall storytelling. The natural order is maintained through our knowledge of the stars. We need our children to know this knowledge. The natural law is the first component of the fundamental law. It talks about Mother Earth, Father Sky. To the Dine people, the natural law is an amenable law because it is set for us by the holy people, meaning that the natural law cannot be changed by any human. It is established by our holy people and sets forth the Dine lifeway standards. The holy people enact these principles of life for us as Earth people. จุดที่ที่เยอะที่สุดสุดสุดสุดสุดสุดสุดสุดสุดสุดสุดสุดสุดสุดสุดสุดสุดสุดสุดสุดสุดสุดสุดสุดสุดสุดสุดสุดสุ
and laid out the consolations by which the people will understand the passage of time, growth, and aging. Hashche el tke placed a flawless buckskin on the ground. Other holy ones brought precious gems of all colors, sizes, and shapes to produce specific patterns. First man constructed a pattern he called Naho Konspakai, the Big Dipper. He chose seven colorful stones in the pattern. First woman constructed a pattern she called Naho Kos Ba'ari, Cassiopeia, and had five stones in the pattern. They placed the patterns in the northern sky around the North Star, with their own fire hearth between them. The pair will evolve around the fire hearth, the North Star. Everyone was satisfied with the arrangements. The constellation patterns placed in the sky were discussed and designed for specific purposes, such as the Noho Konspa Kai and the Noho Konspa Ari and the fire hearth Naho Konspa Kon. The pattern exhibits changes of the season. In the early spring, Naho Konspa Ari will be visible in the northeastern sky. Naho Konspa Kai will be visible in the same location in the early fall evening. Naho Konspakon, the North Star, remains in one location all the time. All constellations evolve around the North Star. The traditional understanding is that constellation patterns depict proper roles and responsibilities of families. Naho Konspakai reigns over the fall and winter seasonal activities for the people. Ye'i biche and Ishnachinje Hatkal are winter healing ceremonies. Nita and Hajoje Hatkal are the spring and summer healing ceremony under the reign of Naho Konspa Ari. Being aware of the purposes of the constellations helps in understanding the traditional practices of the Ne way of life. According to scientific theory, a star begins to form when a cloud of diffuse gases, small rocky inorganic particles, and even ice begins to coalesce. The gas and dust condense down into a tiny ball, attracting more and more material, becoming larger and larger and denser and denser. The gas and dust circles around the growing star. Much of the material will get pulled into the star, making the ball even larger. At a certain point, the star ignites, giving off light and heat. Oftentimes, the material left in the disk around the star will coalesce into planets. These planets, such as our own Earth, orbit their star, just as Earth orbits the Sun. Stars and star systems form all around us, in our galaxy and in other galaxies throughout space. The process of new star system formation has been observed in our own cosmic backyard within the constellation Orion. This image, taken by the Hubble Space Telescope, shows several newly forming star systems within the Orion Nebula an active star-forming region. The material that goes into forming a planet around a star determines what kind of planet it will be, rocky like Earth or gaseous like Jupiter. Any life on a planet, like we humans here on Earth, is made up of this same material. We are indeed made of stardust. Throughout the universe, stars form, mature, and then die. In so doing, the star recycles the materials created within it back into space. 
When very large stars come to the end of their life, they do not go quietly. Such a dying star blasts off its outer layer in an energetic explosion, casting material out into the surrounding space. This event is called a supernova. In 1999, a NASA telescope orbiting Earth was able to take a picture of a supernova located in the constellation Cassiopeia. The Cass A supernova remnant, as it is called, is one of the most intensely studied objects in observable space. The elements that are cast out into space during a supernova event, oxygen, carbon, and nitrogen to name a few, are elements that are necessary for life as we know it. The only place these elements are made is within the fiery core of a star. If all living things return to the earth and are replaced with new life, then there is a growing process in place. Yeah.